let's um let's talk about how to deal with your haters. If you're any small YouTuber, any any size of YouTuber, I guess not small YouTubers, <laughs> stupid. Just if you work hard enough on your YouTube channel, you're eventually gonna get haters, and you should take this as a good sign because that means you're leveling up in your YouTube. Your YouTube content creation skills are leveling up because you're starting to become controversial. You're starting to polarize your audience. You don't want to be a guy sitting in the middle ground, trying to please everybody, agreeing with everybody, because that's not going to push one person to either side. Like, either they love you or they hate you. You want to push them to either side. So you want to polarize your audience and say controversial shit. It's controversial because it's very left and right types of people. A very controversial topic is, like, veganism. You have people on the far who, like, are pure meat eaters, uh, fuck vegans, and then you have the extreme vegans, like that vegan teacher, <laughs> and you want to go to either side, because you're gonna get people who, you're gonna get good followers, good audience interaction, but on the other side of the spectrum, you're also gonna get people who fucking hate you, you're gonna get ha haters, and let's go over real quick how to deal with your haters, because it's inevitable, they're gonna come for you, and... You should be prepared to deal with them. So the first way I deal with a hater, and by far the best way to deal with them, with them, the one I use the most is going to be just ignore. Ignore your haters. Whenever a hater comments on my video or something, the you can just ignore it because it takes care of the problem. They're gonna, it takes care of the problem, and it uses the least amount of your time and resources. It's like. Uh, if you're not giving your somebody else feedback, they're not they're gonna stop. Uh, what's it called? Hating on you. They're gonna stop posting the mean comments or trying to get to you if you don't respond to them. If you don't give them feedback, uh, the best way I can illustrate this is, for an example, trying to talk to your wall. If see how long you can keep that up, talking to your wall. The wall is giving you no feedback, and you're <laughs> you're not gonna get. You, it's not getting you anywhere. It's meaningless to talk to a wall because it gives you no feedback. It gives you nothing to play off of. So just don't respond to them and they can't do anything. <coughs> but for the best way to deal with a hater. Um, there's also there's other ways of dealing with haters, but there really shouldn't be because that's the most cost effective way to deal with a hater is just to ignore them. But you guys, all of you guys, you're hustlers, you're YouTubers, you're really people hustling, trying to get that success and become really rich, financially free, free your family from eternal slavery, and you don't have the time of day to be worrying about these haters. These haters are irrelevant, they're a waste of your time. You, Your time would be better spent recording more videos, getting more polarization, getting more haters, getting more lovers, or fans, not lovers. <laughs> Why not use that? But yeah, that's by far the most effective way. Just ignore them. If you want a second option, if you, let's say you <laughs> you respond to a hater, it gets to you, and maybe for whatever reason you're bored. It's, I know it sometimes can be fun to interact with these haters and try to sp speak logic into them. Don't try that. Uh, haters, they do not understand logic. I hate to say it. If you try to tell a vegan that uh, humans are supposed to eat meat, they're just gonna come up with bullshit answers. Arguing gets you nowhere. That's a very big thing from, it's from Win Friends and Influence People. That's the book I'm thinking of. And it talks about how arguing gets you nowhere. The real way, if you want, the best thing is just to an, avoid an argument. You're never gonna win an argument through pure logic. So, the best way to deal with an argument is kind of to... They won't go on your side, so you go on their side, kind of. Uh, the best way I can illustrate this is... So, a uh, guy was hating on me f about how I guess I like Andrew Tate. He's like... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go into specifics. But he's just hating on me because I kind of looked up to Andrew Tate and shit. And he's trying to hate on me. He's like, bro, you're a fucking Andrew Tate fan. I don't know, he's insulting me or whatever. 
And what I did was like, yeah, I can totally see that. You know, Andrew Tate, super controversial guy. I can totally understand you hating him. And that shuts down the argument. They can't argue with them. You can't argue with somebody if you're both on the same side. There has to be one person on either side for there to be an argument. If you're both on the same side, you're you're equals. You agree, and you can't argue. If, <laughs> if you both dislike Andrew Tate, you can't... <laughs> There's nothing they can do. So the best way to shut down an argument, just agree with them. Someone says, you're a fucking idiot. I'm like, yeah, you're right, I am. <laughs> Even if it's not true, agree with them. <laughs> Even, if, Even if you know you're not a fucking idiot, just agree with them. Be like, you're right, I am a fucking idiot. And well, how are they going to respond to that? If you, if you just agree with them, how are they going to respond? Be like... <laughs> They're going to be like, no, no, you're you're not a fucking idiot. You're not. No, I am. I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's stupid. So, agree with them, and it'll immediately shut down their argument. <laughs> Loki, pretty funny. Try, try doing that next time you have a hater. Just agree with them. So, anyways, yeah, that was the end of this video. How to deal with your haters. Guide to dealing with your haters. Whatever title you want to put on it. I assume that if you made it this far in this video that you kind of agree with what I'm talking about. Unless you're like a hater and you made it this far for whatever reason. You want to hate on me and give me retention time? That's fine. But anyways, assuming that you're a fan and you made it this far in this video, I would like to offer you something. I'd like to... I want you to join... <laughs> I want to offer you t a chance to join my mentorship. I just launched it right now, and I'm really excited to get to talk to you guys and help you. We're going to help you improve your discipline and fitness. We have a, I have a bunch of techniques planned out for how we're going to do that. Go check it out. First link in the description. If, you don't, if you're good, you don't want fitness or discipline, that's fine also. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.